All right, guys, here we go. Friday's workout. So tomorrow, Friday, May 8th, Friday, TGIF, all of the above. Um, we've got some Zoom classes for you, the usual 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. classes. Following uh, 4.30 p.m., we have a 5.30 p.m. social. Come have a drink, come hang out, uh, just see all your butts from the gym. Okay, so that's our schedule online for tomorrow, Friday. We'll also have a newsletter out tomorrow to you guys at some point with some updates for the program, a couple of new things moving forward. Don't worry, no big announcements like last Friday, just more about training. Um, we'd like to give you guys a big picture of kind of what the weeks are going to look like and also tie in a running club. Um, the running club is something you can do in addition to what we're doing or like for myself, I'm going to do the running club three days a week and probably skip workouts those days because to be honest, I'm not very good at running. I'm not bad at running. Technically, I just don't run enough. So I'm going to take this opportunity to work on my running. So three days a week um, and the details will be in the newsletter. Okay. So anyway, back to the workout tomorrow, Friday, warm up. We did this one last week. I liked it. We're going to use it again. 20 shoulder circles, we're just going to do them as big shoulder circles. You can get smaller, you can go forwards, you can go backwards, we can play around our shoulder circles. Good mornings, we've all done those many times. Side lunges, set up, there's 20 of them. So start and go, not quickly, but keep yourself moving. So kind of like down, back and forth as I get warmed up, I'm going to go deeper and deeper and throw my hands out front to counterbalance and stay tall. Okay, so we're gonna warm up the hips, the adductors, the groin a bit. Fire hydrants, think about a dog, like this guy over here lying on the floor, okay? And you get up to the fire hydrant and lift your leg, be on the fire hydrant, one, two, all the way through, okay? Next one, um, it's like a cat and camel on steroids. So uh, a, a more aggressive cat camel, you're going to breathe out and reach, squeeze up, shoulders up, bring the elbow knee together, the gaze goes between your legs, through, and then out. Okay, and we're kind of cat and cameling, opposite elbow to opposite knee, okay? We're going to go through that twice. Get the whole body warmed up. And we've got our Bulgarian split squats. We skipped them last week, but we did them the week before. We just had a heavy leg week last week. So, um, moving through, we've increased by one rep per leg. So it starts at 12, goes up to 18, back down to 12. 12 means six right, six left. Bulgarian split squat review for some of you guys. Okay, I am. Foot on the bench, foot out front. Remember, I want to be far enough away. A single dumbbell, single kettlebell double dumbbells, wherever my weight is, hips go down and back, keep that front shin nice and tall, and drive all the way up on the butt, okay? So we're gonna finish those off. We've got one more week of those. We're gonna hit the 20th peak of the pyramid, okay? And then to finish, a uh, great little workout suggested by Nushka. Two movements, simple, okay? Last week we did a double unders clinic. We saw a lot of success doing that little clinic in class. So I want to give people opportunity to practice. There were some double unders Monday. There's some double unders tomorrow. Tomorrow is set up great. If you're practicing, it's a, a great idea. Uh, it was something, again, the Nushka program, but works out really well, is the double unders are 30 seconds of double unders. So a time limit of double unders. So with that being said, I've added two scoring pieces to this workout. So people who are good at double unders, you're going to get a time for when you finish the workout and then a bonus score of how many double unders did you do in those 30 second periods. So you can't just like do 10 double unders of rest and go back to Russian twist. The goal is maximize each 30 second set of double unders. I love this because also, if you're not very good at double unders, you have a great time frame where you can do double unders. You can RX the workout and for time, but at the end, we'll have like this little tiebreaker score, if you will, of how many double unders you did. Okay, um, so it goes 30 Russian twists, 30 seconds of double unders, 25 Russian twists, 30 seconds of unders, 20, 30, 15, 30, 10, 30, 5, 30. 
What's a Russian twist and how are we going to count it? So a Russian twist, sitting on the ground, okay? Butts on the ground, knees are bent, feet are up off the ground. I'm crunching with the abs to hold still. I've got a weight. I'm using a dumbbell. You can use anything, ball, kettlebell, whatever. Touch the floor. One, two, three, four, five, okay? All the way up. So Ryan was mean and had the lateral jumps be there and back for one rep. I'm nice and have every time you hit each side one rep, okay? When we finish that, um, we're done for the day. So good warm up, chunk of time in the middle of split squats, quick-ish workout, like you're looking at uh, three minutes of double unders and a bunch of running tours and twists, like should be five, six minute jam. Um, come meet me at 8 a.m., do the workout, and then at 4.30, we can do the workout, and when we're done, we're having a drink. All right, hope you guys have an awesome day, and chat soon.